Hello, my name is Frank Peters and I'm happy to speak uh, today to Dr. Kanti Rai about his essay in the book, uh, The Big Casino. Welcome, Dr. Rai. It's Thank a pleasure you. to have you here. I would like to uh, speak to you uh, a little bit about a statement that you make at the very beginning of your, uh, of your essay. It's, uh, you say that patients often think very kindly of oncologists. Can you tell me a little bit about what you mean with that? The fact is, in the practice of medicine, as you know, there are a number of specialties. There are neurosurgeons, and there are dermatologists, and then there are oncologists. And oncologists, by the very nature of the kinds of diseases that they have to handle, have a completely different level of contact and communication and relationship with their patients as compared to all other specialties that I mentioned. In your essay, which is actually called Why Oncologists Don't Suffer Burnout, uh, you also mentioned that very often there is the question, aren't you afraid of burnout? Um, are you? No. For some reason, in the course of my years of clinical practice, although I have heard from other colleagues or recognized from other colleagues behavior of a burnout on their part, but for some reason, the thought has never occurred to me and the experience has never come to me. And uh, I feel blessed because yes, burnout is one of the natural end point in number of practices, particularly among oncologists who have to deal with life and death on an hour to hour basis. But for some reason, I must say that I have never had the burnout experience. In your essay, you, you said that um, oncologists often say that patients are their best teachers. Could you summarize in, in one or two sentences what you would say have been the most important lessons for you? Well, the most important lesson is, as an oncologist, to learn to listen. Because many of my colleagues are excellent doctors, have great fund of knowledge, but they are either too much in a hurry or they already come with the predetermined notion as to how much that person's disease is and what he will do for that. Unless the doctor sits down, calmly listens, you will not be a very competent and effective doctor. So in a nutshell, the ability to genuinely listen to your patient is the lesson that I learned. I would like to thank you very much for sharing these, uh, these stories with us, uh, Dr. Rai. It's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, and it is a pleasure for me to continue beyond what I wrote in the essay. Thank you.